Hey, welcome to Arizona Barbecue Outfitters. We're doing a video on our 2020 Boot Hill Cooker. We wanted to go over the cooker for 2020 and then go over accessories and options that you can get extra with the cooker. The Boot Hill Cooker is a reverse flow offset smoker, meaning firebox is here, reverse flow with the heat up, over, and out the exhaust. We're gonna start here. This is gonna be kind of a quick video. But we had the firebox fabricated out of 3 16 steel plate. You have the firebox door here that's bolted on with an adjustable air vent. You just unscrew this and move the vent up and down. Door opens up. This is your wood charcoal basket for the smoking side of the house. And it does catch like that when you pull it out. Slide it back in. You have a shelf that comes here. Lift it up, drop it down in place. You have a grease port here to allow the grease that's coming through the V-grates to filter out. For the smoker or grilling, this is your exhaust stack that you'll receive. You'll receive one exhaust stack. This is the, uh, the damper here at the top and how you adjust it. And right now it's loose because the exhaust stack is removable. You simply twist, you lift up, and then you have this rain cap here. And the reason why the exhaust does come off is one for shipping. You know, if it gets damaged or something, it's less likely to get damaged during shipping. And you can take this guy when it's off and just set it inside of the smoking chamber. We'll put it back on. And when you go to put it back on, just ensure this piece right here, you're gonna take it, Set it in there, get the button heads in place, and then you can tighten the butt head and screws down. Come on over here in the front of it, we have the smoking chamber. Um, this particular smoking chamber, per the client request, was elevated a little bit higher. The standard boot hill, and I'll kind of show you what you'll have. You'll get the kickstand here, you get the gasket sealed door. The standard boot hill from here to here is 12 inches. This one's about 15, but your standard is 12. You get the drop down front face, lift it up. Everything is gasket sealed. Here's your floating tuner and fire grate. Obviously this is the fire grate when you're using the grilling portion. And then when you're ready to use it as a smoker, the fire grate lifts up, comes out. And if you look on this side here, you'll see this vent here this vent is allowed to adjust the airflow that's coming underneath and i'll bring it up and show you the piece underneath and how to set it up as a smoker so if you're going to use it as a grill you would put these pieces in these holes so none of the ash falls through if you're using it as a smoker these go in those holes which allow you now to adjust your heat and balance your heat out coming across lower this down so if you look over here with the tuning plate lowered down, there's your firebox entrance. And as you can tell, this tuning plate's floating like this. When using it as a smoker, elevate it up. You're gonna take your, your ash pan. This is what touches your ash when you're through grilling. You can set a turkey pan in the bottom down here with some apple juice or if there's any juice you wanna to add to it or just leave it the way it is. But what you want to do is take your floating tuning plate and you're going to lower it so it's just above the firebox heat entrance or heat exchange. So you get it open and you're going to lower it down to where it's just there. And then the other port thing of this is the tuning plate is it's not like sealed all the way around. But you do want to make sure it's pressed over here. Use a piece of aluminum foil, anything you want just to press it. So your heat's gonna travel 90% under, a little in the front, but you're gonna be able to balance it out. And we've done it in the past where we've got left and right within about two to three degrees of each other. So anyhow, make sure when you do it, it's pushed over so no heat comes up that side with a little piece of aluminum foil or something balled up that can cram it over. There's no special tool for it. So bring this guy back up. We'll grab our ash pan. Sits 
slide it back in, lower it back down. Take our charcoal wood fire grate, set it on top of the tuning plate, and simply drop it in place. Um, one thing on the door here, you might notice that we have some extra pieces of felt for the lava tape, the lava tape that goes around and seals it. We take the felt and we'll peel it in half if we have an area where we see a little gap, and we'll stick it there. So if it comes like that, that's just because we put it there to make sure it was all sealed up. <clears throat> we'll just go ahead and leave that open for right now. Coming on this side, you have your, your crank wheel, which elevates your fire grade up and down. And then you have um, your pull handle here. We'll close this guy up. You have all your vents. Your vents are pressured. You release it, they seal close. You have a kick plate down here. The kick plate is gonna come, as you see it here, or plain. It's your preference. <clears throat> all right, so that's how the front of the grill is gonna come. Um, I did mention, I think, the side shelf that we had over there. Now going into some options we have you're going to get this grate with the with the cooker this b style grate or you can get an expanded metal grate that you see over there whichever one's your preference now this guy this customer here increased the height by three inch because he wanted an extra grilling or grate right here for when he's smoking and i'll kind of give you an idea of how that looks so here is the grate and it simply slides in on that upper rail, pushes back in. Now he's got double the room for smoking meats, or he's also got another rack for placing vegetables and things as he's grilling down here. But this, this is an option to the grill. <clears throat> another option is a rotisserie system. So you have to let us know that you want a rotisserie system on it. We'll set it up for it and then we can give you links to where to purchase the set. The motor simply slides on right there. <clears throat> this is a 5H inch spit. So the challenge would be when you go to put this on is you gotta get the meat on there. So you're gonna have to put this, put this in here. This piece goes on first. It allows the spit to turn there on the bracket. You would put that in there. You would skewer your meat. You have forks that come with the rotisserie system. So here's your, here's your two forks. You obviously have one fork on here. You have to have a little assistance. You would bring it through, skewer what you're putting on there. Put your second fork on, slide it through, line it up, stick it in the motor, come over here and lock this guy in place. This piece is gonna fit around this ring and this is what's gonna lock that spit from moving in place. And now you're set up to do a rotisserie, obviously taking this grilling grate out. So this right here is an accessory that you can order from another company for the grill. I'll go ahead and pull this back out. And even if you, didn't order it or didn't ask us to do it, you can order the system, drill the holes. You're just gonna need, which we have here, little caps that go over the holes so the holes don't leak exhaust or smoke out or heat when you're using it as a grill or a smoker. Over here, these are the wheels that come with it. You get four all metal casters. You get this rake here, and if you choose a second cooking grate, you'll get an expanded metal grate that you see down there. So on this particular unit, if it was a standard boot hill cooker, it would be about three inches shorter here. So you really wouldn't be that big of a difference. You just wouldn't have the room that this one had inside of it. But you would still end up getting a steer head crank wheel coming across. You get one exhaust, stainless steel, appropriate height and appropriate length of the, um, of the smoking chamber. Get a drop down front shelf and a stainless steel cook plate that will have boot hill cooker on it or plain 
you know, based on what you, what you choose. Now, if you choose to have something custom on there, there will be a setup fee and we can take care of that as well. So now, if you got any questions or anything, go to our website, we're updating it. Visit www.azbbqgrills.com or you can give us a call, we'll be glad to talk with you. Um, it's a very heavy duty cooker. It's made well, it's made in the USA and we are really pushing supporting companies here made in the USA or that make products in the USA. We appreciate your business. Thanks a lot for looking and have a great day.